What's up, folks? Back in the bubble, the Boulder bubble. People, people say that there's a, a bubble that goes around Boulder, and you know it when you leave it, and you know it when you come back. And I think I kind of noticed it. I think I saw it, and I went in it, and now I'm in here. This whole different world. Um, I got a story I want to tell you, but before I tell you that story, I want to tell you, I'm not going to tell you this time, today, I might tell you later, but um, I want to talk about two things. One is, I got this crazy fucking memory, alright, crazy memory. I may not be able to remember, and I put this in a blog post, like, I go to a public bathroom and lock the door and sit down to use the shitter and then look at that door and wonder, did I lock that? That's what's fucked up, right? I don't remember what happened five seconds ago. Sometimes. Um, but I took a... T the weird thing is, is I took a test uh, at the VA. Part of it was short-term memory test, and I did good. Uh, I had to remember some numbers, and then remember the numbers a little bit a while later. Or I don't know. Um, but I... I my short-term memory is, ter is terrible, and especially um, names. You can introduce me to, you can introduce yourself to me, and I'll, you know, hey, Janet, and then I'm not gonna remember your name five seconds later. And I, I try tricks like people say, I've heard people say, say it three times in your head, or say it out loud. Three. I tried all this stuff, I can't do it. But my long-term memory is fucking incredible. It's so good that it's annoying to people. It's annoying, uh, especially to women that I date because they hate how I remember every little detail, right? So when it comes time to an argument, you get in an argument, I can, I don't want to say bring up things, but I remember, like, you didn't say that, or that's not what happened, or um, because I remember it so well. It, it, and it's also annoying, like, uh, someone said to me once, a girl I was dating said to me once, um, she wanted nachos, and I'm like, nachos is as big as your ass? And she was like, yeah. And it's funny, ha ha ha, because I remember seeing a restaurant in Costa Rica that had a sign that said nachos as big as your ass. Then like, I don't know, a month later, I really don't know the time reference, but like a month later, I saw a picture someone had took of that restaurant in Costa Rica that said nachos as big as your ass, and I showed it to her, and she scratched her head like, I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, what's going on? Like, this is funny, remember? Remember? She didn't remember, and it pissed me off so much. How could you not remember? Uh, I started noticing things like that happening over and over again. My dad, my brother, just people like, I don't know, I don't remember. I mean, how can you not? It happened to you. You did it. Um, but I guess that's my memory. I remember shit. I, uh, like I said in the blog post once, I remember the janitor at my preschool how he swept sand in, into the sandbox I remember that his name was Richard I remember that he had a beard I remember that he did like taekwondo or some shit and he would impress us oh, we're the kids we're like four years old and he would impress us with his uh, roundhouse kicks and what have you I remember all of that stuff and uh I was four. I remember. Bef I remember things before that. I remember. Uh, going to the mall, taking a bus to go to the mall with my mother. I think before my sister was born, which makes me younger than four years old. Four years old at the oldest. I, re 
remember. I remember what song was playing uh, on certain events that happened, or for certain events that happened in my life. Um, the song could, I know. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. And sometimes my memory is good. Sometimes it does good things. Like it brings up uh, fond memories of 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 uh, relatives that have been long gone that other relatives did not remember. Right? They don't remember what happened. And I tell these stories, and they 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 love them. Right? They love that I tell these stories that I remember. And like, oh, how can you remember that? Or I don't remember that. Or oh my gosh. And, uh, so it has its benefits, right? My my, my weird freakish memory. Uh, but anyways, that's that. I wanted to cover that. And I just pulled in. I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just driving around. I'm just pulling the gym. I don't feel like doing anything in the gym. I was gonna eat. I was hungry, and I knew that I was gonna go somewhere to eat. But I ate some cashews, so now I don't even know if I want to eat. Maybe we'll go fishing. Buddy, fishing? You don't care. The other thing I want to talk about is how to apologize. It's not as easy as people think. Or people do it and they don't really, I don't think they know how to do it, right? How to apologize. It's very easy. I'll, I'll give you an example. I am sorry. The word that comes next is very important, right? The word that comes next is very important. I am sorry. The next word should be I. Right? I am sorry. I. This is how you apologize. I'll give you two examples how not to apologize. I am sorry. You. I am sorry. But. All right. So people are apologizing all the time. First of all, don't. Way too many people are apologizing for stuff they don't even have to apologize for, right? Apology should come after you've done something wrong to somebody. It's my opinion. It's what I think. You can disagree with me. That's great. In my opinion, apology should come... Woo! Apology should come when you have done something wrong to somebody and you are sorry for doing that. And then you say, I am sorry, I. So... I'll give you more bad examples, and I'll give you some good examples. I am sorry you feel that way. I am sorry you took it that way. I am sorry, but I, don't, I think I did the right thing. I am sorry, but it is just my opinion. I am sorry, but you, oh, throw those two words together. I'm, I'm sorry, but you are taking it the wrong way. Those are not apologies. Those are, in fact, bad ways to apologize to people. And it makes things worse, not better. Right? If the person you're apologizing to has any bit of intelligence, they will know that you're full of shit. Okay? So, some good examples of apologizing. I'm sorry I slept with your wife. I'm sorry I used your toothbrush. Right? I'm sorry I killed your dog. Those are good examples of how to apologize. You say, I am sorry, followed by the word I. And then the thing that you did wrong to the person. If you didn't do anything wrong, don't apologize. Right? I'm constantly telling women specifically, I'm constantly telling women, no need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. When you do something wrong, I would like an apology. It would be nice. But if you didn't, no need. Stop apologizing for shit. All right? I think that's it. That's it. Back in Boulder, in the Boulder bubble. Still have nose hairs. I'm pulling them out, trying to get them all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not getting them all. I think we're going fishing. I have work to do. Oh! 
I um I've been <laughs> I spent all morning writing a sex scene, um, two sex scenes and for tomorrow's publication in my uh, novel. I wrote t the chapter I'm publishing tomorrow. I wrote not too long ago, right? A month or two ago, I wrote it. But like I keep saying, I keep telling people, I keep putting it on my website that I'm getting better as a writer. Um, so I have to rewrite stuff. Also, I found the medication that would work perfect for my character. It has the perfect side effects. The perfect side effects. So before, when I wrote this chapter, I just made some stuff up. Um, I didn't even. I didn't even give the details of what medication it was, whether it was an official medication. I didn't name anything. I was just going so uh, broad because I still was thinking short story at this point. So I just said, doctor gave a medication, blah, 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 blah. Well, I went and did some research and found the perfect medication that would fit the entire story. So I had to rewrite this chapter um, now that I had this information because I wrote it before I found it so that is a good I took up all morning and, it, and I think it's good uh, it's important that they have sex um, in this chapter because of well because it's an important part of the story right? so I don't know it was kind of <laughs> It's kind of naughty, right? And all that sex. Making me want some. But, all right. Today's a long one, man. 12 minutes. I gotta go. I got shit to do. Peace.